What's up, Samurai? We are back in small troll to drove, and yes, that's right. We are actually going to be talking about a portion of the new update coming to Trove. So I don't know whether or not this is the summer update we've all been waiting for. While it does end up adding some substantial content, uh, generally speaking, I thought it'd be more interesting if we break this patch notes down into individual videos focusing on those specific contents. Uh, and then we'll end up having like a full patch notes video whenever the update ends up going live. So today we're gonna be focusing on Fluxian, which is actually different than Luxian. It's kind of... <sighs> so I don't know how I feel about this. Also, there's these extra NPCs that show leaderboard stuff as well as a Fluxian, uh, uh, Fluxian leaderboard. So I haven't really seen him yet. I do have the patch notes up here, but I'm assuming, yeah, it's going to be this little scumbag right here. I don't know how I feel about this. I think that there's certain aspects that I do like about it, but I don't know how I feel about this. So basically, this is going to end up being a, uh, a voting system. So it's going to allow us to vote on what items we want to start seeing in Luxian's inventory for the following week. Now, I don't know how in depth this is going to go because it looks like it's still very, very much under testing. Uh, but we're going to be voting with our flux so that i don't really like i'll kind of read through the patch notes in a moment um but i do think that this could end up potentially having huge positive ramifications for the game because there's one thing that i've always thought that they should add in trove which would be some sort of a system in place similar to this where you could essentially uh, vote for mods and costumes that would get recognized and stuff that uh, essentially if it got enough votes it could end up being something that the devs would end up looking at and considering putting into the game or something I, I don't think that this is anything to do with that I'm just saying that this has the possibility to be setting the groundwork for something stupendous later so long as they end up taking advantage of it okay so for Fluxian Players can now find a community-oriented version of Luxian, Fluxian, who is in the hub. Engaging with this NPC will allow players to vote with their Flux on what they'd like to see on Fluxian. So I guess his inventory, uh, unless they're... May maybe it's voting for Luxian's inventory, I think, because that's what the main patch notes ends up mentioning, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it also does seem to be very, very jank at the moment. Votes can be cast multiple times, but each vote will cost more and more. Votes are never lost. So if an item doesn't win, those votes will still carry over to the next time that that item is an option. Note, players must log in during the voting period for their votes to be added. So I guess it just means that uh, basically if he has an option to vote for a Dreadnought mount, Let's say you end up voting for a Dreadnought right now, but then Gonda wins instead, right? Like, I, I, I'm not saying that he's going to end up having those items. I'm just trying to explain it in a way that makes sense. So basically what they're saying is that at a future point in time, because Gonda won, Dread would be out of the options for the voting pool. But then later on, if Dread would show back up in the voting pool, you would have to log in for your previous vote to count that you ended up doing for Dreadnought in the first place, which is kind of a crappy system when you think about it, like the fact that you have to log in in order for it to count your previous votes. Like I understand the coding reason why that works the way it does, but I just don't know if that's going to end up being something that will be like, I don't know how that's going to end up pushing players. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but anyways, uh, they go on to mention that items that win a round in Fluxian cannot be selected and appear in the next round. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, sorry. Currently, uh, Fluxian and Luxian coexist and appear on separate rotations, which means that Fluxian, I guess, is going to end up showing up when Corruxian does. And then when Luxian shows up, Fluxian's not here anymore. Okay, whatever. Um, then they also mention that on the PTS only. So this is something that they're testing that we're not sure is going to end up actually uh, following through. So we're aware this could result in situations where players vote for something to appear on Fluxian that appears on Luxian shortly afterwards. And we'd like to address this concern through some form of increased messaging. So that just goes to show that there is clearly a typo. Uh, we're voting 
at, uh, at Fluxian for what Luxian is going to end up having in the next following week. So <clears throat> for testing purposes, there is a temporary three day cycle available in the hub. This is much faster than it will be when it's on the live server. So I'm assuming that they're saying we can vote on items and then Luxian's gonna show up within three days or something like rather than it being uh you know a, the usual slower system um there is the high possibility that a lot of my mods are conflicting there is a bunch of other things related to this update that are going on and frankly speaking i think are a little bit more uh exciting i do think that this is a nice mechanic though but unfortunately even though it's on the test server we can't really test this with it just being at item name, at item description, and not really allowing us to uh, see what we would be voting on and stuff. However, I think that this is a much better system because Luxian's inventory is usually crap. Uh, what I would like to see is if we could actually test this properly, how many items are going to end up being in the rotation? Like, can we tab over and keep going and going and going? Does this show Luxian's entire inventory? Because based on the description, uh, that they've wrote up in the patch notes, it sounds to me like this is still going to end up having uh, a, a set of items that the developers have decided on. The only difference being that we as the player can be like, okay, I don't want this one because this one's a beginner's trap or garbage or whatever. But generally speaking, it still seems like it's going to be heavily led by the devs themselves because of the fact that they say, you know, when the item shows up in the voting period again later, that implies to me that it isn't going to pertain every single time that this guy's here. I could be mistaken. It could be that the wording and the patch notes is just a bit odd. Maybe something like Dreadnought would constantly be here for us to vote on, in which case that would be a blessing and a curse because a lot of the most coveted items in the game and in particular the best items that Luxian sells are because of the fact that it just kind of shows up sometimes, right? So if we suddenly are able to vote for every item that Luxian has ever had and potentially ever will have, then yeah, Dreadnought and all of the most popular items would basically end up winning every week, right? Which would definitely end up bringing the value of those items down. Um, I just, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel torn because on one hand, I feel like it would kind of be a disservice to make Dread be like something. I'm just using that as the prime example. Uh, for Dread to be in Luxian's inventory every week would definitely make Dread feel a lot less special. But at the same time, it's just so ridiculously difficult to actually farm for the Dreadnought mount that I, you know, on, on the other side of the fence, I still feel like, oh, that would be really cool. And at the end of it all, you'd still have to buy it with Dragon Coins, right? So ultimately, that's what this update feels like to me, is a way that they're going to end up, you know, pulling more Dragon Coins out of the community and ultimately so that they can end up having more um, Dragon Coin sales in the shop. In fact, we can actually see there's a, uh, an event vault stash as a new item, so it unlocks a single random mount, ally, wings, boat, sail, or mag rider found under the event vault tab uh, or Luxian category that you don't already have. So there you go. That's uh, very, very expensive for your credits, but okay, cool that it's actually in the game, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Most of all, I think the reason why I feel so, like, uh, cautiously optimistic about it is because I, uh, you know, we've talked about this many, 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 many times before. Dragon coins for free to play players needs an overhaul. Dragon coins in general and the dragon coins in the store, in my opinion, also need an overhaul uh, because this system is dated. It is the most dated system that is currently in Trove and I feel puts a huge hindrance on not only just buying things with dragon coins. But the fact that there's like how many dragons and all of them cost the same amount of dragon coins, like some of them fluctuate obviously, but I'm making a point that 300 dragon coins when the first dragon was in the game made a lot of sense. But having 300 dragon coins over the course of like 
10 or 20 different dragons does not make any sense. Like they need to scale it back. And anyways, now we're going off topic. So what do you guys think about it? Love to hear your feedback. Uh, I do think that Fluxian is a very, very positive thing for the game. But most of all, again, I still feel it's something for the groundworks of something more expansive. Uh, and then also we can't really judge the book by its cover yet because we haven't even seen what the cover of this book looks like uh, because we're on the test server and it's all broken. But with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash like so for more by the merch you want to support the channel. You can check this uh, patch out for yourselves on the test server. And again, we'll end up having other videos that'll highlight the other aspects of the patch as well.